after finishing the regular season with a 9-0 record, the Lake Orion Dragons drew their crosstown rivals, the 4-5 Oxford Wildcats, in the first round of the playoffs at Dragon Stadium. It was unseasonably warm on Friday, October 27th, as the Wildcats kicked off to the Dragons to begin their first drive from the 20. On first and 10 from the 32, T.R. Hill is in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, goes up the middle, and eludes would-be tacklers on his way to the end zone. One final juke and he's in, 68 yards. The Hoffman PAT was good and the Dragons are up 7-0 just 45 seconds into the game. Oxford begins their first drive of the game on their own 20. On first and 10, on their own 49, quarterback Jack Hendricks is under center. He hands off to Owen Pavlock, who goes wide left and is forced out of bounds near the 30 for a big game. On the next play, Hendricks drops back and hits Jay Cady, who stumbles into the end zone for a 29-yard TD. The Wildcats answer a TD with a TD, and following the extra point, things are tied up 7-7 with eight minutes left in the first. During Lake Orion's next drive, the Dragons are facing a fourth and two on the 27. Hill is in shotgun, it's a quarterback keeper, and he gets the first down and then some, reaching the nine yard line. On first and go from the nine, Hill takes the snap, keeps it again, and goes into the end zone untouched for TD number two. The point after was good. It's 14-7, Lake Orion with 337 left in the first. On the ensuing drive, the Wildcats have a first and 10 on their own 48. Hendricks is under center. He hands off to Luke Johnson, who goes left and outruns defenders on his way to a 52-yard score. The PAT was good, and the score is tied at 14 apiece, with 246 still left in the first. On the next Lake Orion drive, the Dragons have a first and 10 at the Oxford 32. Hill hands off to Billy Roberson, who shakes tacklers and reaches the eight yard line. What a run. Then on second and goal from the two, Roberson breaks the plane and scores the TD. The PAT was good, Lake Orion 21, Oxford 14 early in the second quarter. Following an Oxford punt, the first of the game, the Dragons begin a drive on their own 39 on second and three on the five yard line, Hill hands off to Roberson who goes right up the middle for the score. The PAT was no good, but the Dragons are now up 27-14 with 5.36 left in the first half. Once again, the Dragons defense forces another Oxford punt and the Dragons begin their next drive on their own 48. Hill is in shotgun, he fakes the handoff and has a wide open lane. He sprints 52 yards into the end zone for his third TD of the game. The point after was good, and the Dragons extend their lead 34-14 with 4.31 left in the half. The Wildcats punt for the third time in a row, and the Dragons begin their next drive on their own 45. On first and 10 from the Oxford 42, Hill is in shotgun. He hits a wide open Ray Payne at the 30, and he races defenders to the end zone for the score. The 42-yard TD and extra point gives Lake Orion a 41-14 lead. A Hoffman field goal made the score 44-14 at the end of the first half. Oxford gets possession to start the second half, but ends up punting it away once again. On second and five on Oxford's 29, Hill takes the snap, keeps it, gets some nifty blocks, and just beats the defender to the pylon for his fourth rushing TD of the game. Following the PAT, the score is 51-14, Lake Orion with 8-19 left in the third. Oxford has the ball on their own 10-yard line. Facing a third and 18, Hendricks goes deep to junior Liam O'Neill, who goes the distance 90 yards into the end zone. The two-point conversion attempt was no good, and the score is 51-20 as the third quarter comes to an end. In the fourth, Lake Orion has a second and nine on their own 31. Hill is in shotgun. He fakes the handoff, goes up the middle, and once again races 69 yards to the house. Hill gets his fifth rushing TD of the game and has racked up 328 rushing yards at this point. What a performance. Dragons 58, Wildcats 20. Oxford tacked on a 24-yard TD pass from Hendricks to Jake Champagne in the fourth to close the gap to 32 points. The two-point conversion was no good. The final, Lake Orion 58, Oxford 26. I caught up with Coach Bell following the convincing playoff win. 
your quarterback, what can you say about his effort? Just, he's just an athlete. I mean, he can run it. He can throw it. He's so smart. He runs everything. He's tough. Uh, you know, he's been, he's been so good for us all year long. Just a tremendous player, tremendous kid. When was your, the team's last playoff win? You know what? Uh, when John Blackstock was the head coach in 19, they beat Stony Creek. Okay. Yeah, so that was the last playoff win. Wow. What does it mean to you to not only get this playoff win, but against the Oxford team, the rivals? I hate playing them. I, you know, <laughs> I, you play, I play once a regular season, I don't want to see them again. So, uh, you know, it's, it, rival, rival games are always hard because they're emotional and, you know, it's, it's a lot. They, we know those guys, they know us, and you don't want to lose to them, they don't want to lose to us. But, uh, you know, it's the the playoff win. What I'm happy about. This is my guys, my team. This is their first ever playoff win. So they they get to experience that. So that, that's all. I'm happy for them. They're putting in the work. They come to work every day. They don't. You know, they, these guys aren't full of themselves. They don't get big heads. They know every game. They got to prepare. They got to compete. So it's a great group of kids. I'm just happy for them. Next up, the Dragons stay at home to host the Clarkston Wolves, who defeated the Romeo Bulldogs 33-10 to advance to the next round. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. on Friday, November 3rd. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.